Well, good morning. My name is Alex Fernandez. I'm the pastor here at the Heritage Hill campus. And if you're downstairs and hearing my voice, you're like, why is Alex on stage already? Come on up. Uh, today is uh, a different kind of service. This is a week where we are reminded to give thanks. Uh, this is the week where we will gather, hopefully, with friends and family and be reminded of the things that we're thankful for. Today at Cornerstone, we are going to experience a different type of service. Uh, we're calling it a praise giving service. If you read the Old Testament, any portion of it, you might see the word praise found many, dozens and dozens of times. Uh, but each one has a different meaning. In fact, there are more than seven. We're going to cover seven today. There are more than seven words for praise in Hebrew. And so today we're going to review seven of those to give us a different perspective of thanks. Thanks to the Lord, as you heard in the video just recently, uh, just a moment ago, as we heard about all the great work our community partners are doing, the great work that they are doing to battle homelessness and hunger and work in the schools and do the things that lift up our community. They are thankful for what God is doing, and we are thankful to be a part of that. Uh, today, we're going to have an opportunity to give thanks ourselves. And so I just, I tell you that because there's going to be a lot of standing up and sitting down. There's going to be different ways for you to participate, and we will cue you on what that looks like. But it's our opportunity today to refocus and focus our minds on giving praise to God. And so I'm going to introduce these seven words beginning with this one. The word is zamar. Say that with me. Zamar. The word praise in zamar means to make music, to touch the strings or parts of a musical instrument. Music is powerful. It's more powerful than we even understand. It softens the heart. It soothes the soul. It opens the door to the spiritual. So as we begin, let's just listen to the strings. Let the music draw you in. Let us open up our hearts in Zamar, praise of God, and listen through the music and give praise. Please stand. Oh, here. Awaken 
You conquer the grave, you free every captive and break every chain, oh God. Sing this.
music, to touch the strings, to make noise with a musical instrument. The next one is this, Tehila. Say that with me. Tehila, a song of praise, a spontaneous or new song, a hymn. This is not the Pee Wee Herman, da -dun 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 tequila, that's not it. Although it might help you remember it now. It's tequila, oh my goodness, thank you. Unplanned. Tom Cooper, always ready. Tequila. These are those personal stories. And they come, what comes out is a song of praise. They're an overflow that spontaneously combusts, that make you sing out. 57 times in the Old Testament, the word tehillah is found in the Hebrew, most often in the book of Psalms written by David, sometimes because he was overwhelmed, and sometimes it was because he was in the simple presence of God. As we sing this next song, Out of Our Mouths, may we just marinate again and sing about the goodness of God. fails me all my days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay in my head oh I will sing of the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful So, so. 
probably wondered, are we going to make you stand the whole service? <laughs> Zamar, Tehillah, a song of praise, a spontaneous or new song, a hymn. Uh, this next one is halal. Say that with me. Halal. halal. It means to boast, to rave, to shine, to celebrate, to clamor foolishly. Halal is the root word of the word Hallelujah. Uh, it means laying aside your inhibitions, not having any self-conscious, willing to be silly. That's something that we don't often practice in church. Uh, think 2 Samuel chapter 6, King David dancing in his underwear in the streets of Jerusalem. That's, that's where this word comes from. Uh, halal was uh, visible in the Jewish festivals with people dancing with joy and singing in the streets and being silly with their body and their voices. Uh, It simply means to delight in the Lord. So we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, In a moment, I'm going to move the microphone here, and I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to give praise for something that they want to give thanks to God for. It might be just a simple word or a phrase. Please keep it short. We just want as many people to come forward and do that. Uh, But well, here's what we're going to do during this time. You ready to be silly? When somebody comes forward, or if you hear somebody give praise, here's what we're going to do. After they do that, we're going to say hallelujah with our, mind, with our mouths and our body. Let's practice that together. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Beautiful. You guys are ready this morning and you are warmed up. Let me give you an example. Just a couple weeks ago, we had a couple dozen people, some of you who are sitting in here, become members of Cornerstone. These are people who have been sitting in the crowd and said, I, wanted to, I want to engage on a different level. And so this is the picture of those, I think it was 24 people or so, uh, that took that step of faith and said, I, this is my church home, and I want to become a member of Cornerstone. If you want to know what membership is all about, come see me. You can check our website. It just means that you're ready to participate at a different level. So these people have stepped forward and become members. On the count of three, let's give praise. One, two, three. Hallelujah! Emily! Right behind me. Is she a powerhouse singer or what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Emily, do you have something to give praise God for this morning? Let's practice. I praise God for the health of my family. One, two, three. (laughs) Hallelujah. Rob, you're a powerhouse singer too. What do you want to give praise God for? I praise God for my job. Hallelujah. I praise God that the Lions are going to be playing in New Orleans in February. Hallelujah. See how easy it is and how good it feels to declare that. (laughs) So here's what we're going to do. We're going to sing a song. And during the song, I'm going to move the microphone there. If you just want to come forward, I encourage you to be silly. I don't care what it is, but keep it, you know, short. 
and we will give praise to God. Are you guys ready to do that? All right, would you stand as we sing this next song? As you feel comfortable to come forward, uh, you guys can move during the song and just line up. Praise to God for something good. Come on up. Anybody? No one is thankful. Come on, Vic. Tracy, go up. Tell us your name and then tell us what you want to give praise to God for. My name is Tracy Bowers, and I'm thankful that my son drove us here safely today. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Come on up. Don't be shy. Come on, line right up. My name is Victoria, and I am thankful for my small group. Oh. Hallelujah! Hi, I'm Evan. I'm thankful for my new job. Yeah. Hallelujah! <laughs> I'm Travis, and I'm grateful for the quality friendships I have today. Hallelujah! I love this. I'm Angel Whittemore, and I'm thankful for all of you. Aww, one, one, two, three, hallelujah. I am Ramon and I am grateful and thankful for a new chapter in life. One, two, yes, hallelujah. Come on up. I'm Sandy and I'm grateful for the joy grandkids bring. Hallelujah. Anybody else? You're coming. Come on down. This is like the price is right. <laughs> I don't come 
come here very often, but I'm Sally Quinkle. I work here at Cornerstone, and I am grateful for the staff that I work with. Hallelujah! I am Lindsay, and I am grateful for God's grace in my, my life all around. Hallelujah! See how easy that is? How loud to extend the, or to, to boast, to shout, to, to uh, celebrate foolishly in the Lord. If you didn't come up here, that's okay. I think everybody in this room has at least one word that they're thankful for, whether it's their friend, friends or family, whether it's a job, something that you want to boast and give thanks to God. So here's what we're going to do. On the count of three, we're all going to shout something out at the exact same time. So it's going to be one, two, three, shout your word. Understand? And when we shout our word, nobody's going to hear what you're saying because it's going to sound like gobbledygook. Okay? But when we do that, we're going to throw our hands in the air. Are you ready? One, two, three, family! I forgot to put my hands in the air. Can give directions, can't follow directions. You put your hands in the air and you wave them like you just, you just don't, don't care. care. You guys can sit down. Thank you for participating in that. Halal, to boast, to act foolish, to clamor in joy of the Lord. Here's the next one. It's the word yada. Say that with me. Yada. Yada means to extend the hands, to throw a stone, to shoot an arrow. In the Hebrew, yad means hand. How do we use our hands in worship? Sometimes we clap. Sometimes we raise our hands. Or if we're a little shy, we raise our hands here. <laughs> right? uh, sometimes we uh, extend our hands. You can fist pump in worship. I think you can. God is okay with fist pumping. Our arms and hands are an extension of our body. With them, we reach, we touch, we give, and we receive. So during this moment of yada, praise, I'm gonna take you through a guided prayer where we're gonna use our hands in worship. And so if you would do me a favor, I'm gonna guide us on what to do. Extend your hands to the, in front of you with palms up. Now close your fists, make a fist. Keep them like that. Father God, we just come before you today with clenched fists, giving you praise. Often, Lord, when our hands are closed like this, we want to hang on to control. Lord, may we understand your goodness. Often when this is our posture, Lord, we lack trust. We've been let down. Perhaps by those around us, perhaps by the difficulties of life. Lord, we give you praise even when we're like this, when we have doubt, when we have fear, when we have anxiety. Lord, may we open our hands and release control. Turn your hands over, face down again, make a fist. Lord, and let this be our posture in those moments where it's hard to give praise, where it's hard to let go. Lord, may our posture be open hands, open your hands, of releasing what might control us. Lord, we all deal with different types of addictions, whether they're substances or sin we keep falling into, whether it's gossip, or it's the things that people have done to us, we wanna hang on to those things. Lord, may this be a posture of our hands, open, releasing, inviting. Bring your hands together like this or like this. Often we are taught to pray with our hands together. And so Lord, may this be the posture of our hands when we're in need. Lord, I can't, uh, understand what the needs might be in this room or for those who are watching online, but I know that there's need in this room and you know that there's need in this room. Maybe finances are short. Maybe relationships are broken. Uh, it could be that somebody's hurting. 
or we're scared. Lord, may this be the posture of our heart as we worship. Yada, give praise. Lord, may we also think about those who are in need around us. May we pray for them. Lord, may we think about the marginalized in our community. May we give praise to all the good things that our community partners are doing that we heard in the beginning, who represent the people in need in our community. And may we be a church that meets the need, financial, through our volunteerism, through simple care. May this be our posture, Lord, to pray for those around us, not just for ourselves. We are in need, Lord. We are in need and we give yada, praise. People are in need, Lord. People are hurting, people are broken, people are scared. Lord, may we not just think of ourselves and may we think of those people in need. And we, may we answer the call as best we can, wherever we are, one person at a time and meet the need. Extend your hands again to in front of you, palms up. This is the posture of receiving. Lord, may we pause here to reflect on what we need to receive the most. May we just start with your amazing grace and love. May we feel the weight of it in our hands. May it open up our hearts and pierce our minds, bring alive our soul. Lord, we give you yada and praise that we can receive for what you've done for us. Lord, we receive your spirit. May you do a work in each and every person. May it make us come alive. May it transform our hearts. Lord, may the extension of our hands to receive symbolize what we want and desire most, joy, peace. Lord, these are the things that you offer. May we have a posture to receive. Lord, as we think about control and releasing, as we think about need and receiving, Lord, may we be reminded that our arms and our hands are an extension of us. May we reach out to you. May the symbol and posture of our bodies model the posture of our hearts. Lord, may we be humbled can have so many reasons to give thanks, Lord. They're literally countless. So often we forget. But on a week that we think about Thanksgiving, Lord, may we give our praise for the goodness of who you are, your never-ending love, your relentless pursuit. We thank you, God, simply because you are good. in your name that we pray. Amen. Yada, to extend the hands, to throw a stone, to shoot an arrow. Here's the next one. The word is similar. It's toda. Say that with me. Toda. Not tada, but toda. Maybe it's tada. It also means to extend the hands but this is for thanksgiving for things not yet received. Psalm 56, 11 says this. In God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? I will give praise, toda, to you. These are words written by King David uh, after he had been seized by the Philistines, but before he had been delivered. Todah is a sacrifice of praise. It's a praise of trust and anticipation of something not yet received. Similar to yada, this is a deeper meaning. Sometimes we offer or need to offer todah when we have fear, when we have anxiety. We offer todah in times of stress 
or in times of pain. Todah is the willing of the spirit inside us that struggles to give praise in those moments. It requires the spirit to help encourage us and nudge us that we can offer thanksgiving for things not yet received. Todah is reaching out, sometimes crying out while you're in the middle of a storm. Recently, we had an opportunity to sit down with Jane Munn. Jane is a longtime attender of Cornerstone. Uh, she is in the midst of cancer and has been in a battle for quite some time. This is a little bit of Jane's story and where she is today. My name is Jane Munn, and I am first and foremost a Christ follower and a worshiper of Yahweh. That is my identity. Three years ago, I was perfectly healthy, so I thought, ended up being diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. And there's been lots of ups and downs along the way. Treatments work for a while and then until they don't. I've experienced God in a whole new way and um, in a deeper way through the struggles. First and foremost is putting my trust in God and just reminding myself every day that he's got me, he loves me, he's a good God, and he wants me well. The main way that I get through hard times is spending time in prayer and in praise and worship. I'm not talking about necessarily the corporate worship that we have on Sundays. I love that and it's, it ministers to me, but I mean personal time um, praising God and worshiping him because I firmly believe that that is when he gives us his strength and he fills us with peace and puts hope in our hearts. There was a verse, Isaiah 58 verse 11, that I had in my quiet time one morning that really spoke to me. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. And at the time, it just really ministered to me. And then, I don't know, six months or so later, I'm going to a clinical trial. I was, you know, struggling, not in a real good place. And when we went into the building, we walked across this patch of grass, and I didn't think much of it. And then on the way out, crossing that same patch of grass, all of a sudden the sprinklers went on. And it, God just brought that scripture back to me and I'm like, yes, I am a well-watered garden and just praising God for doing that. I mean, that's how much he loves us and cares about us. He can bring his word back to you. Sometimes it's difficult to praise him when you're in the midst of things that are not fun. The medicine is working and we're feeling good and feeling positive until it doesn't. It can be difficult to continue to praise him even when things like that happen. It's not always easy. Sometimes you just have to force yourself even when you just don't feel like it. And then the feelings come later as you get into praising him. I've learned a lot of things. Yes, I do choose joy, but it, it takes effort, it takes diligence, it takes focusing on the positive and keeping my eyes on God and trusting in Him. I've learned that I can do hard things, that through His strength, He enables me. It's amazing to me the strength that He gives and the peace that He gives. That is difficult to walk in peace when you have an incurable disease hanging over your head. In God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? I am under vows to you, O God. I will present my thank offerings to you, for you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. We're all going to die someday, but I don't have death looming over me. I don't um, dwell on it. Um, as it said that I may walk before God in the light of life, I feel like I'm just 
trying to live my life to the fullest and enjoy every day and be in the moment.
through it all, through it all it is well. Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you, and it is well with me. That's now one of the best worship songs of all time. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> you may be seated. English is so boring, isn't it? We just have the word praise, but in the Hebrew, it means so many different things. And so if you're sitting here today in the storm, if you're sitting here today with worry on your heart, anxiety, stress, may that song be the song of your heart right now. May it carry you to be able to give thanksgiving in anticipation of what the Lord will do. Here's the next one. Barak. Say that with me. Barak. Barak simply means to kneel, to salute, and to thank. Psalm 103 verse 1 says this. Praise Barak, the Lord, O my soul. All my inmost being praise his holy name. In the original uh, translation, it simply means to bow low, but with your eyes fixed on the Lord. It's kind of a combination of that reverence of the sovereignty of God that you can't look at, but you can't help but look up with awe and wonder. I just read the verse, verse one, but... This word appears several times in Psalm 103. Would you read these words together with me from Psalm 103, verses 1 through 6? It says, Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. As you stand to sing this, close, or this, this next song, may we have reverence of the Lord and bow low, but fix our eyes on his goodness, mighty and power. Please stand. So bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship Your holy name. Come on, I'll worship. to kneel, to salute, to thank. Here's the last and seventh one. The word is Shabak. Say that with me. Shabak. Shabak means to address in a loud tone, to shout, to, command, to commend, to give glory and triumph. If you grew up in the church, anybody remember the 1993 song, Shout to the Lord? Anybody? Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing power and majesty, praise to the king. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of, that was the big swell, at the sound of his name. 
You know what we didn't do during that song? We never shouted. Psalm 145 says this, one generation shall, shall praise, Shabbat, your works to another. And so we have kids coming into the service. And we're gonna close with the song praise. This is something that the kids learned during mega camp. And we have some motions, but there's also some chanting and shouting that you guys will do the, during this song. So go ahead, kids, line up. We're gonna help them with some of the motions. You guys can move back just a little bit, actually. Come on back a little bit. Is there more of them? Come on, look at all these kids. <laughs> keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Like line up right there, perfect. Stop, turn around, face that way. Pile in front right there, that's it. As we close, let us bring praise, Shabbat, to the Lord. I don't know where these sunglasses are, but guys, I need some of those. Yeah, come on. Clap your hands. Hey. Here we go. Fan has bread. Fan has bread. Praise the Lord. 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 As long as, as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to pray.
Pastor Alex, you are a closet dancer. My goodness, can we have more of that, please? Beth Ann, my goodness, what a blessing. If you're not gonna go all, for, all out for the kids, who are you gonna go all out for, yeah. right? <laughs> Woo! Shabak, to address in a loud tone, to shout, to command glory and triumph. Would you guys sit down for just one second? Normally we would dismiss right now, but for the safety of our kids, we need to get them down to corner kids. And it gives me an opportunity to catch my breath. <laughs> Let's do a little review. Let's put them up on the screen. Zamar, Zamar is to praise God, to listen to the music, the strings, the music that brings us into worship. Say that with me, Zamar. Tehillah, say that with me. Tehillah, a spontaneous song, a hymn, that, that moment that you just wanna cry out and sing because of the praise of God. Halal. Let's try it. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. It's to boast in the Lord. We should be boasting in what the Lord is doing because the Lord is good. Yada. Say that with me. Yada. Yad means hand. It's the extension of the hand. It's how we express through body our praise. Toda. Say that with me. Toda. Toda. It's also an extension of the hand, but this is in the anticipation of what's not yet received. This is the willful push of the spirit that when we don't want to give praise or we can't find the ability, that we still find the, the means to give praise while we're in the storm. Barak, Barak, this is the reverence of God. The bowing down, but still gazing up the awe and wonder of God. And Shabak, Shabak, to shout to the Lord, to express joy, to just leave it all out there, to give praise. I wanna grab something really quick because you're gonna receive this on the way out uh, to leave you with that so that you can remember our wonderful communications team put together a praise giving recipe card. And each one of those words are on here. This is perfect to put on your refrigerator or someplace in your home that you can remind yourself of all the different kinds of praise, especially this week. But the problem with Thanksgiving is we've convinced ourselves that this is the week, the week to give thanks. But this can help remind you of the daily praise that you can give to God. And so uh, you're gonna grab, you can grab one of these on, on the way out. The ushers will pass them out to you. If you flip them over, one of our staff members, uh, new staff members in our comp team, Ben, was kind enough to put his grandmother's apple crumb pie recipe on the back. <laughs> he boasts about this. And so you have the ingredients and the recipe for that as well. And maybe you'll enjoy that for Thanksgiving. Uh, would you stand so that I can give you a final blessing? Lord, we come before you on the, in this hour and this day, and we come and we have brought you our praise, mind, body, and soul. And so, Lord, this is all that we can offer you, because you are so great and mighty that even our small gifts are nothing compared to you, but Lord, you receive it. And so we receive your blessing. We continue to bless your name. We continue to praise your name. Even when it's hard, Lord, let us shout and boast in the Lord. And so all who are present here today, may you receive the Lord's mercy and love and grace. May his face shine down upon you. And may this be a day that you give praise to the one and true God. Thanks for joining me here today. Thanks for joining us. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving week and a wonderful day. Go in peace.